Hello everyone, I am Drobits, and I am, um, I am in the Tria Amentia team, and I'm here to answer some of the questions that you guys had in the uh, Q&A announcement video. So our first question comes from Ethan P. Um, to the level designer, are the levels going to be 100% recreations, or will they be half recreated and half original like in the real Mania? They won't be like entirely 100% recreations, but as there are many gimmicks from Sonic 3 we can't include, it won't be spot on. But no, it won't be like Mania's levels. It'll be, uh, it'll be a port basically. Tattle Angus MLG. To the artists, would you like more Sonic 3 based sprites rather than just changing the head? We aren't actually only changing the head, we're changing all of the sprites. So it'll be more Sonic 3 uh, oriented, but there will still be like Mania elements left in. This one is from Wowie It's Noah. Dear level designers, will you take ideas from the original game's level design and put it in this game? For example, ice caps, never ending columns, and sliding ice block puzzles? As I already mentioned in this video, uh, levels will not be new, and we are trying our best to implement previous gimmicks. Ice cap is the hardest one to do so, f uh, so far in terms of that, and we are working on multiple solutions. Locked on mode, which is essentially just the plus version of Tria, will have new level design based on the original version and gimmicks. To the artists, do you plan on fixing any issues with the Sonic 3 sprites for Sonic, such as his hands being too big, an inaccurate face, etc., or are you going to leave it just as is? I also have a question for the plot. Is the Master Emerald involved in all of this? Is this some recreation of Sonic 3 Knuckles or a brand new plot in general? Uh, we are actually getting rid of his oversized hands and fat limbs, and uh, the face is pretty much the same. Uh, the plot is new and it takes place after Forces and Plus and Mania Adventures, but it still involves the Master Emerald. Dear developers and Drobits, hello. How long is this game going to be in production for? We aren't 100% sure of an exact date for the final product, you know, at least next year, but our first build will come after the release of Plus and will include Angel Island, Hydro City, Launch Base, Doomsday, The HUD, Sonic Sprites, and possibly even Sky Sanctuary. How will you be able to re-implement the zone gimmicks and enemies from Sonic 3? Quite a few gimmicks from the original game already exist in Mania. For the Badniks, it may just be a simple changing of Badniks sprite to match a Sonic 3 variant. Others may require, you know, a bit of improvising and some new ideas. Question 1. I would like to know more about the story. It seems to be incredibly intriguing. Do you think you could make a video that goes more in depth with it? The story is new, we can't really reveal too much, but I will say it includes a familiar face from Sonic 3 as well as a newcomer. Uh, question 2. Sh uh, no. To the ideas. What kind of ideas do you have in this mod? <laughs> well, we have a lot of ideas. Most of them will be for Locked On. We are having reimagined zones with new level themes and music, but for the regular game, we aren't changing much other than, you know, some bosses and characters. To the ideas, will there be more stages than the original 12 in Sonic 3 and Knuckles? And to the music creators, will there be Act 2s of some zones that sound different? You know, uh, Launch Base Act 2 has Act 1's music with some missing notes. There is an additional stage, but that's only for Locked On mode, so keep an eye on that. And uh, Matter, our musician, is making new tracks for the Act 2s. To the plots. Will this mod be longer than Forces? The story continues from Classic Mode to Locked On Mode, sort of like double the length of Sonic 3's story, so... Yeah, you decide. To the coders, are you going to be trying to implement hyperforms and cutscenes? For cutscenes, we're having Sonic Motion create MP4s which play it uh, at any desired time that we want. And for Hyper, unless it's included in Plus, I doubt we'll be able to have it. To the plot maker. Will this mod only have Sonic 3 stages, or will it have Sonic 3 stages and Sonic and Knuckles stages? Yes, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. To the level designer, will zones that are already in Mania, like Flying Battery Zone and Hydro City Zone, have completely new level design or new gimmicks, or will there be the same as in Mania with minor graphic tweaks and new remixes? The three zones in Mania are going to be the original design from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, with the tile set that Mania uses. As for Locked On Mode, you will see for the new level design and gimmicks to the level designer slash to code. How are you going to handle certain objects that are in Sonic 3 but not in Sonic Mania? For example, how will you recreate things like the pulling contraptions from Mushroom Hill or the gravity gimmick from Death Egg? For the gimmicks that aren't in Mania, we are able to cleverly adapt the gimmicks in Mania to try and recreate them. For example, you would notice in Launch Base the platforms that launch you are now cleverly adapted with the current entity. This is just an example to show how we will recreate certain gimmicks. So what is Tria Mentia Locked On mode exactly? Tria Mentia Locked On is a twist on the 3 and K stages uh, featuring new stage themes, for example, Angel Island is a frosty forest instead of being a burning forest. 
similar to Encore Mode but with new music and art and stage gimmicks and mechanics and enemies, while abiding by media modding limitations of course. To the music, are you going to remake Sonic 3 music and Sonic 3 and Knuckles music? Both soundtracks are going to be remade by Matter, aka the full Sonic 3 and Knuckles original soundtrack. Bonus tracks will be included for places in which certain songs may not fit in Mania. To code peoples, <laughs> are you going to include the... To the code people, are you going to include the original Sonic 3 bosses, make brand new ones, or are you going to just include the vanilla Mania bosses? We can't really program in new bosses currently, so yeah. How will you be implementing cutscenes? Also, to the artists, are you editing palettes too? Sonic's darkish blue and Knuckles' dark red. There will be two palettes for Sonic and Knuckles, and you can change them while playing the mod. Cutscenes will be MP4s put into the game, like the teaser trailer. To the plot, will the story be the same as the original, with Knuckles having a slightly different one, or will it be different and more similar to Mania's? It's a completely new story, but you will see Knuckles go about it in a different way, like in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. To the plot, where will the Phantom Ruby take them? The Phantom Ruby doesn't actually move them this time, it just changes their surroundings. To everyone working on this mod, how much is completed in the mod? Unfortunately, no levels are 100% completed as of yet, but development is going by rather quickly and smoothly. To the plot, will the Phantom Ruby turn into an eye like in the trailer at some point in the game? And if yes, will it appear multiple times? Definitely. It is sort of a new form of hers. To the plot, will this mod have multiple endings? The chances are that there will be multiple endings, but there will also be a true ending. Will the mod have good music? Absolutely not. Just listen to the music that's playing right now. Two level creation. Since Hydro City is the sixth zone of Mania, it's actually the seventh, but whatever, but the second zone of Sonic 3, then are you going to move Hydro City to the second zone of Tria Amentia? Yes, Hydro City will be the second zone. This also means that Flying Battery will be the 8th zone and Lava Reef is already the 10th zone, so that's fine. The stages all go in order with how they appear in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. To the artists, finish Angel Island already, it's literally the easiest zone. It's not that easy actually, it's very complex. Also, since Build 1 isn't being released until after Plus, there's no point in actually making any new graphics for the tiles. To the plot, will the Phantom Ruby transforming Sonic Mania into Sonic 3 like in the teaser trailer be a plot point in the game? Yes. To the level designer, will the zones in locked on mode be completely original, or will it be altered level design from the original zones? Completely original, though we may utilize some gimmicks from the same or other zones. To the plot, is the teaser trailer part of the cutscenes? Yes, it is actually the opening cutscene. To level creation, will the second acts have new gimmicks and stuff like in Mania? Classic mode is just a port of each zone with new graphics and music, but locked on mode does have very different stages. To the plot, will Infinite be in this mod? No, but the Phantom Ruby is a very special character. To the music, will the soundtrack be all original remixes or original tracks too? I'm not one of the musicians, says Shiba, but we do have a new soundtrack for the mod. To the plot slash level creation, will Sonic and Tails have a different story from Knuckles and will the stages have different backgrounds from Knuckles um, if the game has a different plot for him like the original Sonic 3, like the Death Egg being missing in stages for Knuckles? Also, will Mighty and Ray become a part of this mod? How will they be incorporated into the story? 1. Hopefully. 2. Mighty and Ray will function like Sonic and Tails having the same story, but cutscenes will include them if you play as them. If you do not buy Plus, the story will change and say that they didn't want to be involved after the roughness that was Encore mode. In Locked On mode, the trio recruit them uh, for help after learning about what will happen. As for what will happen, you'll have to wait. To the level designers, will the zones be straight ports or will they be maniafied where Act 1 and Act 2 are combined? Would love to know. For classic mode, it will be a port. For locked on mode, new level design will be made. To the artists, will Tails have the Sonic 3 st sprite style or will it be unchanged? Most mod creators leave out Tails in Sonic 3 mods. They all will be changed. Don't worry about that. To the level designers, will stages have new gimmicks from other Sonic games like how Hydro City got Labyrinth Zone Spears and Lava Reef got Quartz Quadrants uh, conveyor belts in Sonic Mania? For classic mode, we will try to replicate the gimmicks as much as we can while abiding to Mania modding limitations. For Locked On, we have a lot more freedom. In addition to some recreated gimmicks, we will also use other gimmicks that weren't in the original but are in Mania and edit them where necessary to match the theme of the stages while sticking to the Mania modding limitations. For example, Angel Island Locked On slash Frosty Forest, as you might know, is going to have the zip lines from Green Hill Zone and the ice cubes and other ice gimmicks from Press Garden Zone. 
to the level creation. Is every stage going to have two acts or three acts? They will all have two, one for Hidden Palace and one for Sky Sanctuary. Even if we were able to do three, I think it takes away from the experience of the zone. To the ideas. Make each character's story different and then make their story into one. Not a question, but Knuckles and Ray will have different stories. Don't worry. To the code. What abilities will Sonic and Co. have? If there are even going to be any changes. The same as Mania, the, the mod loader lets you add the Insta Shield if you want. To the level designers, is Encore Angel Island going to be replaced with glitched green hill zone like in the teaser? If yes, I can give some ideas. Nah, we already have a pretty solid idea of what we're going to have there. Also, the heavies are absent from the plot. So will you use T. Lopes' Angel Island music or your own? Our own. Also, it's not his, it's Hunty's. To the artists, what design will Sonic have? A mix between Mania and Sonic 3. To the code and artists, will there be a surfboard when Sonic gets on the island? No, because they don't travel there by choice this time. To the plot. Will the story be the same as Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Completely new, though events will feel familiar.